So as a result of spring kicking in, this bed that was growing uh, slowly during the winter, of course, with the, even with the, the canopy has just really taken off. And we got a lot of kale here um, in this 10 foot trough, which is 15 square feet and enough kale and chard and had some broccoli and dinosaur kale in this little curly leaf of some sort um chard everything's looking great um thanks to the nutrients that we've been creating over here with the nutricycler uh, making both an organic blend of nutrients that goes in the media beds i find that works better than even just having a like a high uh, nutrient parts per million in the in the water uh, of inorganics the organics are providing nourishment to microbes that live in the bed and the microbes become sort of a nutrient sink for the plant roots and so a storage of, of nutrients so that the plants can forage when they want um, works better than even a, a high ppm in the water uh, of a inorganic solution so the organics are proving to be much better in the bed uh, we've taken out a lot of the residual solids uh, settled out a lot of solids oxidized a lot of solids and we've got a, a, a very digestible organic liquid solution that we're taking out of the nutricycle on this side we're doing mostly inorganic liquid nutrients that are created from our organic uh, fertilizer processing of organic biomass. Uh, we just burn off the carbon a little bit longer in the Nutricycler to make this uh, so that the roots ultimately don't get bogged down since we don't have a biofilter decomposing the organics. Yeah, and both tanks are growing duckweed. I've got mollies on this side, but I saw some mosquitoes, so I have a feeling that it's not enough to keep up with this big size, so I'm going to go get some molly. Uh, goldfish in the bottom. I just feed them with the duckweed. That I, uh, that I collect from this trough. If I, if I put it all down there, then they're just going to eat it too fast. And uh, since they consume organic liquids as well as duckweed, um, I sort of ration the duckweed. So I can maintain the duckweed supply. And that's about it. Uh, I'll explain more about the Nutricycler uh, in another video because we're about to do some um, educational literature that'll help people understand more about our process. So anyway, this is David. Our company is bioponica.net. Check us out. Uh, send us an email. Look forward to hearing from you guys. And uh, thanks for watching.